What's up, tech enthusiasts? Welcome back to All About AI Tech, your one-stop shop for all things AI. Today, we're diving deep into the world of AI assistance, but with a twist. We're talking about a device that promised to redefine the game, but is now facing a mountain of returns. Get ready to be mind-blown, because we're about to unravel the mystery of the Humane AI Pin. So, what exactly is the Humane AI Pin? Picture this, a tiny, wearable device packed with the power of a smartphone. It can handle your calls, texts, photos, videos, you name it. It's like having your own personal Jarvis, just without the witty comebacks, at least not yet. When the Humane AI pin dropped, the hype was real. Tech reviewers were going gaga over it, calling it the next big thing in AI. Fast forward a few months, and the story has taken a U-turn. The Verge reported that Humane is actually receiving more AI pins back than they're sending out. That's right, folks, the return rate is higher than the purchase rate. Sounds crazy, right? Let's dig into why this is happening. The AI pin isn't exactly cheap, coming in at a cool $699. For that price, expectations are naturally high, but many early adopters felt let down. Tech influencer Marquez Brownlee, for example, even called it the worst product he'd ever reviewed. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. So, what went wrong? One major issue seems to be usability. The AI pin relies heavily on voice commands and gestures, which sounds cool in theory, but in practice, can be a bit clunky. Imagine trying to send a text message while walking down a busy street, not exactly ideal. Plus, some users found the voice recognition to be unreliable, especially in noisy environments. And let's not forget the lack of a screen, which makes things like editing text or viewing images a real pain. Now, let's face it, the AI pin isn't the only kid on the block. We've got super smartphones and feature pack smartwatches that already do a pretty darn good job at most of the things the AI pin promises. So, it's not just about being good. It's about being better than what's already out there. And on that front, the AI pin seems to fall short. Speaking of competition, let's not forget the big dogs in the AI assistant arena, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Apple Siri. These guys have been around for a while, they're constantly evolving, and they've had time to iron out most of their kinks. To compete with these titans, the AI pin needed to be nothing short of revolutionary. But hey, this isn't the end of the road for the humane AI pin, or for wearable AI in general. This setback is a reminder that even the most ambitious tech can stumble. But it's also an opportunity to learn, adapt, and come back stronger. The future of AI assistance is still being written, and who knows, maybe humane will surprise us all with a killer second-generation AI pin. Remember, even the mighty iPhone wasn't perfect in its first iteration. So, what do you guys think? Is the humane AI pin a tech flop, or is it too early to call it quits? Sound off in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome AI content. Your support means the world to me and helps me create even better videos for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.